Hey, boo boo kitties. Hey, boo hey. You, you thought I was gonna you upload? Now. That girl is a munch. Nigga, either he ate it for lunch. Mm. Bitch, I'm a baddie, I get what I want. Like, you thought I was, you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> that nigga a munch. Hey guys, this is day two of my series that is going to be called Content Gym because the same way when I started my fitness journey, I would go to the gym and do a variety of exercises. I feel like I'm doing content exercises to align myself with the best version and highest version of my creative self, right? So yes, in today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create, how to DIY on a budget on your iPhone for new aspiring content creators, brands, businesses, even if you are your own brand, even better baby, even better. Butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better, eh, eh. But yeah, so I'm gonna be showing you how to create a fake YouTube studio background in case you wanna jazz up your background. I'm gonna be using BuzzArt, Canva, Leonardo AI, and cap cut okay so just to demonstrate look at this basic boring background to a different background and a different background okay so before we get into this video make sure that you comment down below what is the goal that you are looking to achieve during the first quarter of 2024? As you guys already know from what I stated from yesterday's video, my goal is to become monetized on YouTube. It's been a long time coming, okay? And I'm just ready to, you know, get into it. So make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you like this video, and make sure that you comment down below what is one of your goals that you are going to indubitably achieve during the first quarter of 2024 so let's get into it so for this video you're only going to need three apps the first is going to be leonardo.ai and you can go ahead and create a username if you'd like you're going to click stock images image generation and you're pretty much going to put in a description or a prompt for ai to generate an image that reflects what you have written down in the box and this is what's gonna load up here and basically i just wanted something with gold accents marble background youtube setup anything that describes your ideal background feel free the second app is going to be canva so i'm going to go into canva and right at the top you're going to look for a youtube thumbnail template okay you're going to make sure that we click a blank canvas to start off with which is here. You're gonna go down to uploads so that you can upload what we've just downloaded, photo library, and you're gonna choose the backgrounds that you chose, if that makes sense. No, nope, it doesn't, but hey, we're gonna keep going. So yes, yeah, so as you can see, I just uploaded these three very aesthetically pleasing backgrounds. And since the size isn't going to be the same ratio as the dimensions for the YouTube thumbnail, we're just going to drag and adjust this image. You can also do this in CapCut, but it may be a bit intricate for people who aren't as tech savvy or who aren't accustomed to editing on a day-to-day -day basis. It might be a little um, complicated if you are trying to figure out how to add overlays or layers so this is the easiest way for you to do so if you're just starting out so now we're gonna go and click the download button here we're gonna download this and prepare our design gonna save this image and then we're gonna hop right into CapCut so Leonardo.ai we're gonna go into Canva and CapCut you're gonna select the image first you can just kind of drag this all the way out just to create some space so you can see the background. Then we're gonna to go to overlay, add overlay, go over to the videos and you're gonna upload the video that you would like to have your YouTube DIY background. So this is the video I'm gonna be using. This video that you're seeing right now, you're gonna go over, I just kind of cut here and drag it over. Then you're going to click on the video with the real background whenever I choose to do so. And you are going to hit remove background. 
and auto remove and voila voila baby as you can see the background is now deleted and what i like to do is just kind of go over to effects video effects and i'm going to type in blur just to create a blurred background if you have a little bit of trouble finding this exit back out type in blur the trending searches should pop up so i'm going to try again blur i'm going to click those options that popped up make sure that it's under the tab of video effects instead of body effects and i was just playing around with different blurred backgrounds as you can see but i feel like the most natural subtle one is the first one which is the one that i decided to go with so now i'm going to go over to filters and i just want to add a bit more vibrancy to the video as you can see here it looks a bit dull without the vibrant background the colors are more vivid so this is one of my favorites that i'm going to be using to give the colors a bit of oomph but yeah you guys um something that i really just want to highlight and demonstrate every single day when i'm uploading videos y'all i'm gonna be dropping gems okay because i feel like a lot of people overcomplicate how to create captivating imagery and visuals when you can literally do so on the iphone using like one to three apps and that's what i want to demonstrate for you guys so i'm just excited because I'm back on YouTube and I just cannot wait to teach you how to edit and flex and slay all on the iPhone A, all on the iPhone A, A baby, -bay. you understand? So if you found this video helpful, if you look forward to everyday DIY edits on the iPhone while on the budget, make sure that you leave a comment down below, like this video and subscribe to my channel, Booba Kitties. Thank you so much for watching and this is our year. I'll see you guys day three tomorrow.